Hey guys, just a heads up. The new WorkSharp Professional Knife Sharpener has a discounted price from $300 now at $250. I will have it linked down in the description. It's available right now both using my GP Knives link or the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Both of them will be linked down in the description. I told you guys I would keep up with the information on these and let you guys know when they're dropping. And there is some available right now. Also, as I stated inside my full review, they there already is an aftermarket stone holder attachment, which will allow you to get any stones you want. I'm in the middle of testing it right now. So far, things are going great with it, but I'm just letting you know that if you did get the system and you're worried about being able to use other stones or whatnot, you'll be able to. Let's get back to the video. Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about the best Kaiser knives that are available today, basically the newer ones, because they have a bunch that are discontinued that are also really, really good. But let's get into the list. These are the honorable mentions. Starting it off with the first honorable mention is the Kaiser Doman Sheep's Foot. So this one, it's one of my favorite Kaisers, to be honest. It's just they have so many fantastic Kaisers. This is an amazing work knife. There's no flipper tab, so you have very comfortable ergos. Super thin geometry. This is the only Doman with a hollow grind, so it's very, very slicey. Fantastic action. It's surprising how smooth they get these knives. But it has an adjustable deep carry clip, so you can adjust the depth on it. And yeah, fantastic knife. It comes in two different micarta options. And for the, what you're paying, man, you're getting great value. This is the Kaiser Mini Critical. Now this one comes in many different options as well, just like a lot of these knives. They're gonna come with different options, different color options. Many have different uh, hole deployments or flipper tab deployments like this one. This one comes in uh, thumb studs, hole deployment, and flipper, flipper deployment. So there's a lot of different versions of this. This one's the 3V version. For like a hundred bucks, you're getting a lot for your value. And if you mostly do utility cutting, the Kaiser Mini Critical might be a perfect EVC for you because it's compact and boy, does it cut as far as utility cutting goes. The Kaiser Deviant. Now this one was my favorite one for a little while. Um, I just, you know, it, the thumb stud action, there's something about it. It's so snappy and it almost has, even though it is on bearings, it almost feels like it's on washers. It's so smooth. And that's one thing, like I said, Kaisers, man, they're stupid smooth. This does come in different versions. This one's obviously the green micarta and copper version, but it also comes in a tuxedo version. M390 steel and, you know, uh, fantastic knife. It's a sheepdog design, by the way. Um, the next honorable mention is the XL Feist. The XL Feist, look at this, whoo, it is so smooth. Now, the, the regular Feist was good, but I was never like the biggest fan of it, even though I have like a ton of them. You know, the big one though, this took it to a whole nother level because it is very, very ergonomic. It has a perfect blade shape for EDC. You can use it in any direction and it is a good front flipper. So this is a front flipper that is really easy to use. So a lot of people really like the feist, you know, the small one. This one just took it over the top for me because of, you know, just having the larger size. 20 CV steel, I think this one's 20 CV, yeah. 20 CV steel with purple fat carbon fiber, but it does come in different versions. And then last honorable mentions, we have the Kaiser Original. Now, now that they have the Kaiser Original XL, because this is the small one, this is the regular one, this one is the XL. I know it's not that much bigger, but that little bit does make it a lot more ergonomic. And it's just a fantastic gent knife. That's the way I look at it. I don't think of it as a work knife. I don't even think of it as like, like a, a, a hard use EDC or anything. It's kind of just a nice lightweight gent knife, something that you can you know carry to do your cutting it's nice and fidgety, really good acoustics. Listen to that. Very good acoustics. This one's the copper one, so it's super heavy. This one is the titanium frag version and S35 VM blade steel. So lots of different options with this one as well. Now, let's get to the list. So the list starts off with the bag lighter. So I'm just gonna bring all three up. So this is my favorite mini version. It's in 4V and this has an insanely sharp edge. I mean, just ridiculously sharp. Then it has incredible thumb stud action. It's small, it's tiny, it's lightweight, it's more of a gentleman knife, but 
fantastic gent knife. It comes in lots of different options too. Then you have this one. This is the regular bag lighter with copper scales, so it's super heavy. But for some reason, the copper scales just make it so premium feeling. Very snappy, great knife. Now, my favorite one out of all of them though is the XL. Now, don't get me wrong, these two are like, you know, they're really close, but this XL gives you a spear pointed, well, it's a drop point blade, but I love the swedge on top. It kind of spears it out because um, the, the handle is so big, it is extremely ergonomic. And even though it has a flipper tab, you can go right over the top of it. The sound has really good acoustics and personally for mine is rock solid lockup. Now I have a couple of them and I do have one that wasn't as good as this one. The detent was not as good. But just so you guys know, with all button locks, if you start getting a sticky detent or a detent that's super light or anything like that, take your scales off and put them back on. Most likely your screws, one of the screws is loosened up just slightly and it's shifted the scales and it's very easy to fix. But this one's the 154CM1, uh, beautiful micarta, really good quality, reversible deep carry clip, stupid smooth on the ball bearing action with the button lock, super good detent. Yeah, man, this is a really, really good one. This is one I just recently sharpened in one of my members' lives. And by the way, guys, just so you guys know, I have a new editing app. I have a new editing app, so I'm struggling to learn it. And so my videos aren't gonna be the highest of quality as you know I want them to be, but the longer I have this editing app, the better and better and better things are gonna get because I have so much more I can do with this editing app. So, um, you know, st st I'm looking forward to what I'm gonna be able to do over the next few months. But, you know, as far as right now goes, I'm in a learning process. So it's probably gonna seem like I went backwards a little bit. Okay, this is the Kaiser Sheepdog. I love the Sheepdog. Now I have so many different versions of it. I probably have like seven minis and like six big ones, an XL one. Now this one is probably my favorite, the titanium one. Now it's the most premium one, obviously, but I do have an XL titanium one, by the way. Um, I also love my 10V one. I have a 10V with brown micarta. That's an awesome one. That one might be my favorite uh, next to this one because this one just has such a premium feel to it. The way they melted or, you know, like chamfered the titanium scales on here, it's super comfortable to disengage. It has a fantastic detent, nice, strong breaking detent. You can actually hear when the detent, when it closes, you can hear the detent. Oh man, listen to that. <laughs> it's awesome. I love the Sheepdog. And like I said, it just, if it, you, you feel like it's uh, money well spent when you get one in hand. Next, the Mad Tonto. The Mad Tonto, the Kaiser Mad Tonto, it is, man, it's such a good one. Uh, I would never have thought that I'd like this one as much as I do. I've carried this a ton. Now, the reason why is because it is in 154 CM, but it has a drop point tanto, which is what I love. The, because the tip drops down, I can easily use the tip. Then I also have the secondary tip. And because it's a hollow grind here and a flat grind up here, it's super slicey. And I can trap materials into the hollow grind. And it's like this thick, thicker portion right here traps it to where I can make extended cuts really good. And and it's extremely ergonomic. This is a damn designs. So, you know, that's why it does look, you know, like a damn designs, but uh, fantastic knife. I absolutely love it and definitely recommend it. Next is the Kaiser Lieb M. My favorite Lieb, now the Lieb itself was really, really good, just the small one, because it originally come with a, it's a, it was a small knife with flipper action on a liner lock. This one's a button lock, but Man, it, the, the, the break from the detent is so clean. It's so fidgety. Then the scales, even though this is short, it is very palm filling. So it winds up, you put it in your hand and you're like, holy cow, I can't believe how, how comfortable that is, how ergonomic that is. With the contoured micarta scales, really good quality micarta. Again, 154 CM steel. They do a good job with their 154, by the way. Really good job. Uh, deep carry inset clip with flat screws and it is reversible but yeah just a fantastic sheep's foot knife now the top three the kaiser mini roach now this guy is so so slicey and the edge that i have on it right now it's probably in the top 10 sharpest edges in my collection i mean this is 
on a level of, of dangerously sharp. You know, you would not want to slip up and, and hit this edge. It's very toothy, 600 grit, um, 154cm. That's my favorite grit for 154cm. Really good detent. Now this one does have a flipper tab, but it's removed because it has a removable flipper tab. So you can choose to have it on or off. And I gotta say, it was very difficult for me to take it off because the flipper tab works so good. I mean, the detent is so crisp, but the reverse flick is also really good and taking it off allows you to have a lot better ergos. So you can just see how ergonomic that is. Now this isn't neutral ergos or anything like that, but the way the shape is, man, it just works so good. Not gonna be the best knife for turning around and cutting straps or anything, but pinch grips and forward facing cuts, Yes, really, really good. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. And, you know, just the shape alone, like look at this blade, a spear point hollow ground blade. That looks nasty, doesn't it? You can just see how useful this knife is. Now, the top two, the Kaiser Drop Bear. The Kaiser Drop Bear, probably my favorite Kaiser right now, right next to number one, which would be the Kaiser um, escort. Now, I'll be honest, I like the, the drop bear a little bit more because of the blade shape. I love this blade shape. Probably my favorite blade shape. I like it a lot more than this drop point big belly um, version, but I love the size and the ergonomics of the escort. So, you know, you could basically just, just pick one, you know, because both of them are equally as good to me. They're, and plus this one's still extremely ergonomic. I don't want to take away this one's ergos because it is very comfortable. And for the size, like getting it in hand, you don't realize how useful this knife is until you get it in hand. Rock, ooh. So before I cut myself, I was trying to say that the lockup is rock solid on both of these. And then it's stupid, stupid smooth. Look at this, complete fall shut and it is on bearings, but it has a fantastic detent because what they do is they allow you to not only strengthen the detent strength or the lock strength by uh, tuning the, the lock because it, it's a, a clutch lock, so you can change the strength of the spring, but they also give you extra springs that are stronger. So man, they're, they're super good, super snappy. Look at that. Oh. Super duper snappy. And that is something we don't see in all crossbar locks. A lot of them, they're, they're good. Some of them are really good, but then some of them are just, you know, they're kind of lacking in the detent department. And with these, not only does it have strong lockup, which is another thing a lot of crossbar locks are failing. You know, they don't have strong, it's not that they don't, sorry, let me be clear. They're very strong, very, very strong because the locking system, in order to fail, you have to break that pin. But what I'm saying is that they have play. They have a little bit of play up and down. And these, I have yet to have found one that had play up and down. I have three drop bears. Um, I have, do I have only one escort? I, I think I have two escorts, two escorts, because I had the rich light one. I might've gave it away though. Anyways, you guys know the deal. That escort and the drop bear are some of the best knives that have come out in 2023 from Kaiser and, you know, I don't know if they're going to hold that till the end of the year. We'll see. But until next time, peace.